Scientists recently published a paper on research findings linking herpes viruses 6 and 7 to certain aspects of Alzheimer's disease. What does this mean? Well first, when they refer to herpes, it's probably not the type you're thinking of. The herpes virus that causes cold sores is herpes simplex virus 1, and the sexually transmitted herpes that causes genital sores is herpes simplex virus 2. These are not the herpes viruses they're talking about. Human herpes virus 6 and human herpes virus 7, commonly known as HHV6 and HHV7, are best known for causing roseola in infants. And, like all herpes viruses, they can also remain dormant in the body for years without causing any symptoms. So, it's likely that many adults may have HHV6 and 7. What does this have to do with Alzheimer's? Well, researchers found that levels of HHV6 and HHV7 were twice as high in the brain tissues of people with Alzheimer's compared to those without. And these herpes viruses were observed interacting with genes known to increase the risk for Alzheimer's. And these interactions influence responses in the brain that influences Alzheimer's progression. What does this mean in a nutshell? That these findings don't prove that herpes viruses play a direct role in developing Alzheimer's. Rather, what these findings do prove is that there is strong evidence to support that HHV6 and 7 may influence the course of Alzheimer's. And this recent discovery could help researchers get one step closer to eventually finding a cure for the disease.